Alright, since a lot of people seem to be getting infected with System Tool, I'm going to go ahead and do a removal guide on it. And once again, we're going to be taking the path of least resistance and activating this thing. And no, nope, nobody had to crack this rogue. They sent me a key for free. I just had to ask nicely. Anyway. Alright, so you're on this screen, right? The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, get to this registration link. You'll bring up, it'll bring up this, uh, you know, registration screen where you can enter a uh, serial registration code, whatever. And I've got this in the description, I'm going to have to type it out here, so hang on a minute. Alright, so once you type all that in, go ahead and click Activate, and it'll say that it's been registered successfully. Go ahead and click OK, and then you'll get this other alert saying, press OK to clean your PC right now. Go ahead and do that. And of course, this is fake, but you know what, we're just going to let it do it, make it a little bit easier on us. Alright, so now it's going to bring up another fake alert saying, 38 infections, clean reboot required. Go ahead and click OK to reboot. Alright, so after rebooting, a uh, system tool should be all but castrated now. So removal should be pretty simple. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. I've got a link in the description for it. Also, if there's something up with your internet, go ahead and go to... Well, this isn't good. I'm using Chrome. I should be using Internet Explorer to show this. Hang on. Alright, let's say you're having internet problems. Go ahead and go to Tools, Internet Options... It'll move. Go to Connections, LAN settings, and then make sure this is unchecked, this uh, use a proxy server thing. Alright, so uh, yeah, go ahead and download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Let's go ahead and save it to the desktop. You can close that, close the browser window. Now go ahead and run the setup. Next, accept the agreement. Next, 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 next. Install. Now go ahead and leave update and launch checked and click finish. Alright, now this is going to be one of the very few times that a quick scan is not going to be sufficient for removing this rogue. This is because uh, I took a look around and it turns out that there are system tool files in the archives for System Restore and for some reason quick scan doesn't find that. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and run a full scan and you're going to want to select your local disk and the time this is going to take to complete varies on uh, the capacity of your hard drive, how many files you have on it. I would estimate that it's going to take definitely more than five minutes. It might take up to 30 or 40 depending on your machine, but this is going to be way more thorough than a quick scan, and for once you actually need it to be really thorough. So definitely go take a break or do something. Alright, so my scan just finished and it took a little bit under 20 minutes, 19 minutes, 10 seconds. Of course, it's going to greatly vary compared to what your times are going to be for a quick scan. So it found nine objects. We're going to go ahead and click Show Results. And it'll show all of the infected files and registry keys that it found. Make sure they're all checked. Click Remove Selected.
and it'll prompt you to reboot. Go ahead and uh, click yes. Go ahead and dismiss this log for now. Alright, and then after rebooting, uh, you should be good to go. Uh, there shouldn't be any, um, let's see, any shortcuts on the desktop or anything since you ran a full scan. And that is it for removing system tools.